What's up guys? Welcome sa ating YouTube channel. Um, ito ba yung ating first lesson, first vlog. Um, we will be discussing special product. Itong special product na to, uh, this is a grade 7 lesson. So, kailangan kasi alam natin yung special product bago tayo magtuloy doon sa next lesson or next lesson switch our factoring techniques or factoring. Okay, so ano ba muna yung definition ng special product? Um, ayon sa na-search ko, it's a mathematical term in which factors are combined to form product. So, ipre-represent siya ng factors, tapos pag multiply natin, syempre, ang lalabas doon ay yung product. So, bakit siya tinawag na special product? It is called special products because they do not need long solution. So, yun ang maganda doon kasi um, wala talagang mahabang solution. So, ang gagawin lang, multiply mo lang siya. Tapos, meron lang certain pattern or format na susundan kaya para ano para mabig makuha na agad natin yung answer. So, again, wala siyang long solution. So, yung tip ko sa inyo, ito. Just be familiar with the format or the steps. Pag nakabisada nyo na yung steps, susundan lang yun or yung format, susundan lang natin. Tapos, makuha na agad natin yung answer. So, ito yung mga types of special products na kailangan nating alam na bago tayo mag-factoring. Kasi karamihan din sa anim na yan, kabaligtaran lang ng factoring. Number one is the square of a binomial. So, x plus y squared or x minus y squared. Pero nakasulat na lang siya para shortcut sa mathematics, x plus or minus y squared. Number two, the sum and difference of two terms. So, it will be x plus y and then x minus y. So, papansin natin, Ah, yung isa plus, tapos yung isa naman ay minus. The number three, product of dissimilar binomials. Ito yung gagamit ng FOIL method. Kung mapapansin nyo, um, magkaiba yung dalawang binomials. So, x plus a tapos y minus b naman. Number four, cube of a binomial. So, kagaya lang siya nung number one, kaya lang this time it is raised to the third power kasi nga ay cube. And the number 5, we have the square of a trinomial. So, trinomial naman ang naka-squared. Kung makikita natin, pag sinabi kasing trinomial, tatlong terms. X, Y, and then Z. So, naka-squared siya. And then, the last one is the product of the form X plus or minus Y. And then, X squared minus or plus naman ito. X pla, uh, minus or plus XY plus Y squared. So, lahat ng mga yan ay special products kasi nga may susundan lang tayong pattern. So, napakadali lang makuha ng answer ng mga yan. Sa ating WhatsApp channel, palagi tayong magkakaroon ng drill. So, para saan po ba ang drill? So, kagaya sa classroom, nagkakaroon tayo ng drill kasi uh, ito yung skills na kailangan para mas madali nating maintindihan yung bagong lesson. So, ang isasuggest ko sa inyo, siguro i-post nyo muna ang video, tapos try nyo sagutan. And then afterwards, check natin mamaya. A few moments later. Okay, mukhang ready na po yung mga answers natin. Sana sinugutan nyo ha, kasi napaka-importante ng drill para mas madali natin maintindihan yung bagong lesson. Okay, so let's have number 1. 7 squared. So, to answer 7 squared, so that will be 7 times another. 7. So, 7 times 7 is of course 49. Number 2. Negative 11 squared. So, negative 11 squared will be negative 11 times another negative 11. So, negative times negative is positive. 11 times 11 is of course 121. So, positive 121. Number 3. 2 times 3x times 5y. So, ang gagawin natin sa ganito, multiply muna natin yung mga numerical coefficients. So, 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 5 is 30. So, this is 30. And then, yung mga variables or yung mga literal coefficients natin, kasama lang natin dito. So, we have xy. So, we have 30 xy. Ganun lang siya kadali. Number 4. 2 times a cube times negative 4b c squared. So, 2 times 1 ang nakalagay dito times negative 4. So, 2 times 1 is 2. 
times negative 4. So, we have negative 8. So, lalagay lang natin itong mga to. So, we have a cube b and then c squared. So, we have a cube b and then c squared. Okay. So, this is number 4. Number 5. 4n squared. So, paano gagawin dyan? So, i-distribute natin itong squared kay 4 at saka itong squared kay n. So, 4 squared now is 16. That's 4 times 4. And then, n squared, nasabi na natin yung answer, n squared. And finally, negative 9, w to the 6 squared. They distribute dito sa negative 9. They distribute yung squared sa, 6, sa w to the 6. So, negative 9 squared is positive 81. That's negative 9 times negative 9. W to the 6, ang gagawin sa exponents ay e multiply So, we have W to the 12. So, this is, or these are the correct answers. I hope you got 6. Kung hindi man, pakireview muna yung inyong mga answers. Ito na po talaga yung pag-aaralan natin for today, which is how to square a binomial. So, x plus or minus y squared can also be written as x plus y squared or x minus y squared. So, kapag plus, so we have here x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Kapag minus naman, x squared minus 2xy plus y squared pa rin. Okay, so paano siya? So, consider this one as the first term, tapos ito naman yung second term. So, tignan natin kung ano nangyari. Ini-square yung first term. Tapos plus 2, tapos 2 times yung first term times yung second term. Tapos sa dulo, ini-square naman ang second term. Doon naman sa minus, ganun pa rin, ini-square yung first term. Tapos minus naman dito, tapos 2 times first term times second term. Tapos plus, square pa rin ng second term. So, ito po yung pinaka-format. Yan lang po yung format na susundin natin kapag plus, plus yung pangal, yung gitna, or plus silang lahat. Kapag minus, minus naman itong nasa gitna. So, ito yung steps. Square the first term, twice the product of the first and second terms, and then square the second term. Okay, punta tayo sa examples. So, tandaan lang natin yung format natin kanina ha. X plus 5 squared. So, ang first term natin ay X, ang second term natin ay 5. So, sabi natin kanina, Square the first term, so x squared. Tapos, plus muna, or plus tayo, 2 times yung first term na x, tapos yung second term na 5. Tapos, sa dulo, i-square natin ang second term. So, that is now 5 squared. Okay, so yan, sinet up lang natin. So, ganyan palagi ang pagsasagot ng special product. Kunin mo yung format, tignan mo yung format, tapos iset up mo siya based on the format. So, sa lahat, ganyan ang gagawin palagi. Alamin mo yung format, tapos iset up mo siya base dun sa format na ibibigay sa inyo. Okay. So, answer na natin. Simplify na natin to. So, we have x squared is also x squared. 2 times 5 muna tayo. Num uh, bar bar ano muna? Constant muna. 2 times 5 is 10 times x will be positive 10x. 5 squared, that is now 5 times 5. So, we have 25. So, this is our answer. So, that is x squared plus 10x plus 25. Okay, number 2. Yung number 2, pinagbaligtad ko. Inuna ko naman yung constant bago yung variable. Okay, pero same pa rin ang gagawin. So, square the first term. Oh, by the way, First term natin ay 6. Second term natin po ay negative y. Okay. Square the first term. 6 squared. Okay. Plus muna tayo ha. Mamaya pa lalabas yung negative sign dyan. So plus, yung format natin, 2 times yung first term, ay sorry, 2 times ang first term natin ay 6. So 2 times 6 times yung second term natin ay negative y. Yan. Yan. And then, plus square ng second term. So, negative y squared. Yan siya. Nakaset up na ulit siya. So, yun yung step natin. And then, 
6 times, or 6 squared is 6 times 6, which is 36. 2 times 6 is 12, times negative 1, negative 1 ang numerical coefficient neto, so 12 times negative 1 is negative 12. Tapos yung variable natin na y, so that's negative 12y. Kaya lumalabas na negative itong pangalawa. Dito sa dulo, kung bakit siya palaging positive, kasi yung negative sign ay ini-square. So, negative times another negative will become positive. So, that is now positive y squared. So, our answer for 6 minus y squared will be 36 minus 12y plus y squared. Let's continue with our example. So, example number 3, we have a plus 8b squared. So, the same format pa rin tayo. So, Square the first term, our first term is a, and our second term is 8b. So, square the first term, so we have a squared. And then, plus 2 times yung first term na a, tapos times yung second term na 8b. And then, plus yung square ng second term. So, yung 8b naman ang i-squared natin. Yan. Na, form, na set up na ulit natin siya. Okay, so simplify na lang natin. So we have a squared will be a squared. For this one, we have 2 times a times 8b. So 2 times 8 muna tayo. So 2 times 8 is 16. So that is now positive 16. Ang literal coefficients natin ay a, b. So isasama lang natin dito, 16 a, b. And then dito naman, so we have 8p squared. So 8 squared tapos b squared. So ang 8 squared po ay... 64. That's 8 times 8. And then B, may square din siya. So, our answer now is A squared plus 16AB plus 64 B squared. Okay. So, for our final example, for our example number 4, so yun, medyo may mga exponents na. Pero the same pa rin, susundan natin. So, square the first term pa rin, parehas, parehas pa rin. So, we have 3m squared, yan yung ating first term. So, square the first term. Plus, plus muna tayo, mamaya palalabas yung negative sign. Plus 2 times yung first term natin na 3m squared. Times yung second term natin na negative 7. Meron ba tayong dalawa pang examples? Example number 3, so we have a plus 8b squared. So, the same format pa rin. Square the first term. Ang first term natin ay a. Ang second term natin ay 8b. So, square natin yung first term. So, a squared. Plus, 2 times yung first term natin na a. Times yung second term natin na 8b. And then, sa dulo, square naman natin yung second term which is yung 8b. So, 8b squared. Okay. Set up na natin. Simplify na lang. So, we have a squared is a squared. 2 times a times 8b. 2 times 8 muna. So, 2 times 8 is positive 16. Yung literal coefficients natin, meron tayong a, b. And then, sa dulo, a, b, uh, 8b squared. So, 8 squared po ay 64. That's 8 times 8. So, b squared will be b squared. Okay, so our answer is a squared plus 16ab plus 64b squared. So, yan. Okay, for our final example, yan, may exponents pa. Okay, pero the same pa rin ang format susundan. Okay, so ang first term natin dito ay... 3m squared. At ang second term natin ay negative 7n cubed. So, same format. Square the first term. 3m squared squared. So, square the first term. Plus, plus muna tayo. Mamaya palalabas yung negative sign sa gitna. 2 times yung first term natin na 3m squared times yung second term natin na negative 7 n cube. And then, sa dulo, square naman natin yung second term, which is yung negative 7 n cube. Yeah, yan siya. Okay. 
Naka-setup na po. Simplify na lang. Okay. So, 3 squared is 9. M squared squared. Multiply yung exponents nila. So, M to the fourth. This one, 2 times 3 is 6. Times negative 7, negative 42. Negative 42. Sama lang yung mga literal coefficients. Pati yung exponents nila. M squared N cube. And then, yung sa dulo, so we have negative 7 N cube squared. So negative 7 squared will be positive 49. N cube squared magiging N to the 6. Dahil multiply ang kanilang exponents. So our answer is 9 M to the 4th minus 42 M squared N cube plus 49 N to the 6th. Okay, so para sigurado tayo na naintindihan natin lahat ng mga pinanood natin, so subukan natin to or try this. So sa mathematics kasi kailangan ng practice para talagang malaman natin na natutunan natin yung uh, pinag-aralan natin. Okay, so I'll give you time para magsagot tapos pause nyo muna tapos uh, pagbalik nyo, uh, makikita nyo na yung answer. Good luck! A few moments later. Okay, so here are our correct answers. I hope you got a score of 5. Pero kung hindi man, pwedeng i-counter check nyo yung inyong mga solutions kung saan kayo nagkamali. And do not forget to like and subscribe and also hit the notification bell para ma-notify kayo kapag meron tayong mga bagong videos. Okay, see you on the next video. What's up guys?